All right, today we're taking a look at my coach wallet. It's a men's wallet and I've had it for a couple of years now. Um, this, I wouldn't typically buy something like this, but this was a gift. And um, so for me, it was a good price. I, I think if you buy it on uh, online, I think it's around, well, I think it's less than a hundred dollars. So they've gone down in price over the two years that I've owned this one. Um, just be sure to click the description for the most recent price. So this is a leather wallet and the leather is pretty thick and it's kind of sturdy. And um, on the outside here it has this coach uh, logo all over the side of it. It's their um, flagship uh, logo. Um, most people would kind of recognize this. Actually, a lot of people do recognize this. Well, not that it matters to me too much, but sometimes when I pull my wallet out, if I'm paying for something, um, people generally will comment, oh, nice wallet, oh, that looks nice. Probably just because they recognize this logo, which again, I don't really care about that, but um, I, maybe you do. So on this outside here, there's this leather imprint here. Uh, once again, I guess it's just to let people know that you have a coach wallet. The, um, it has this dark border around here. The stitching matches, brown stitching. Um, again, I've had this for about two years. I carry it around with me every day. And it's held up pretty well. Um, no real major issues. On the side right here, you can see it's starting to... Um, show it cracking in this leather part right here. One right there. One right there. Right there. And lastly, right there at the joint. So, what kind of cards can you hold in here? You have a space for one, two, three. So there's these little pockets right here. You can usually fit two, maybe three cards in there. And it's on both sides. And this is just uh, some ID that I carry around in my wallet, but you can also put one right in here. And right in there. And then also here. So this wallet doesn't come with a clear case to show your um, ID. Some wallets you can just open and it has a clear piece right here so you can see exactly what your ID is. If you need to show it somebody at like a grocery store, this one does not have that. So it has these pockets. So basically one, two, three, six, seven, eight pockets for ID. And then here in the cash portion, um, there's this back part. And it also has a separator flap, so if you have more cash, you can put it right here. I don't know. I, don't, I guess if you have a lot of money, maybe you put a hundreds here, and then the smaller bills right here. But um, I just use this one right here. When I go to the gas station, I'll usually just pop my receipts in here until I can uh, record them later. So this is a two-fold, bifold wallet. Some wallets will fold three times. This one only folds once. Oh, I'm sorry, three into three pieces. This one's only into two pieces, so it just folds right over. <clears throat> if you have a tri-fold, it would usually fold once this way and then another that way. Um, I happen to like the bifold uh, because it's a little bit thinner this way once it's folded up. I don't like to have a thick wallet especially if I'm sitting in my car, it's really uncomfortable and I'm not too sure, but I've read that it's uh, not too good for your back to uh, sit on your wallet. So usually I'll just remove my wallet anyways, but sometimes I don't. So with the bifold, I, it's a little bit smaller profile to sit on. So just to give you an idea of the size of the wallet, um, this is 
it next to a typical coffee cup, which I use generally to show you the size of what we're looking at. And here's the side profile. Once it's open, it's a little bit bigger than a coffee cup. Maybe we can use a dollar instead. That might be. There you go. So basically, that's how big the wallet is when it's open. And you close it, it's a little bit shorter than the length of a $20 bill. So out here on the, on the leather, it's kind of a textured leather. I don't know if you can see it, but um, it does have a little bit of texture on it and you can kind of hear it here. So that's textured on the outside. Kind of like, I guess it kind of looks like a snake skin, uh, which I don't believe this is, but it could be wrong. And then on the inside, same thing as a texture. On the inside though, it's much softer. Not a lot softer, but somewhat softer than the outside shell of the wall. You can kind of hear the difference. So here's the outside, much harder on the shell. Here's the inside, a little bit softer. So that's my, uh, that's the uh, coach wallet that I use. Um, hopefully you found this useful. want more information be sure to click the description and uh, hope to see you on the next video please subscribe thanks a lot have a nice day